Hey there, come with me as I explore the Amazon in Peru. <laughs> the Amazon makes up 60% of the country in Peru, and Iquitos is the gateway into the Peruvian Amazon. It's the largest city in the world that cannot be reached by road, so the only options are by boat or plane. My journey began in Lima, where I took a two-hour flight to get to Iquitos. Upon arriving in Iquitos, you will be welcomed by the bustling energy of this city. The best way to get around the city is by tuk-tuks. The charms of Iquitos is best appreciated by a walk around the town center, where you will be transported back in time with tiled colonial buildings built by European settlers who came to Iquitos during the rubber boom at the beginning of the 20th century. It also happened that people were celebrating the Pride Parade that day. One of my favorite places was the Plaza de Armas. The bustling town squares are filled with locals and tourists alike. Then I headed to the promenade along the Amazon River, where I saw one of the most beautiful sunsets. Walking around town, I also saw many stray cats. They were super friendly, but also quite skinny. Are you okay? I don't have food. So I got this guy some dinner. The next morning, the tour I booked picked me up from my hotel, and we headed to the jungle for the next three days. To get to the Amazon, we first drove to the city of Nauta. From there, it's another two-hour boat ride until we reach our Amazon lodge. The Amazon holds many superlatives. It's both the largest rainforest and the largest river in the world, making it one of the most biodiverse regions of the planet. The view during the boat ride was beautiful. We saw many animals along the way. The Amazon River dolphins were especially playful, swimming by us many times. Soon we arrived at our lodge. The accommodation is pretty nice considering we're in the middle of the jungle. However, you will have many visitors in your room, but you get used to it. In the afternoon, we walked to a local community living close by. The community is small but fully equipped with stores and even a school. The coconut juice here is also as fresh as it gets. Our guide then showed us a local family in the village who had rescued a sloth.
and the family even let us hold the sloth, which was an incredible experience. After the sun went down, we went on a boat ride, looking for animals in the dark, specifically the Amazon caiman. It was quite difficult to see anything with an untrained eye, let alone in the dark. But soon our guide surprised us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful alligator! Yeah. Wow! Take picture first. Then, I, then I'm gonna explain you guys. Wow! And we hope the dog is gonna bite us. He's biting, isn't it? Can he bite? Yes. You should know the way how to grab it. Whip with a tail. <laughs> That's why I hold tightly, guys. <laughs> yes. But never like uh, choke the neck. Just be gentle, mm -hmm. but you must be like ready when you want to move quickly. Grab him. If you see the half, um, something about, I think it's a cricket. He's, he oh, was eating he's something eating like that. Something. Because he's caimans, eating. guys, eat fish, small crabs, and also snails. Something really sick. I need to change my position, my hand position. So he doesn't bite you? <laughs> because this one can turn and bite you quick. Oh. Okay? Mm -hmm. In the water. No, no. But no, I, I'm not gonna pluck through. Just gentle. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh. Oh. The following day, we got on our boat again to look for more animals. Guido and David are guides. Both grew up in the Amazon. They could spot animals that we could only see with the help of binoculars. They also spotted some woolly monkeys from the shore. Jump again. How they stay like on that skinny tree branch? They look so heavy. <laughs> There's another one there. Wow. The look at the monkey all the time. They jump like quickly. They do a really great job, like a secret jump. We are friends. Right, this is the. Ooh. This is pretty. <laughs> As we walked further into the jungle, we came upon some huge trees with vines, and David showed us what to do. American Ninja Warrior. Yes. Amazon version. No, that's the thing now. Now. One, two, three. Hey. Later that night, we went on another hike to see what animals we could find on land at night. Let's do it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! His little stomach moves. He does not want to move. Oh, oh. He moved. Oh, there is a leech. We spot a porcupine in the Amazon. Main attraction. <laughs> this is <laughs> one person on our tour forgot his boots, so David made sure he got a ride. 
Really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Cuidado. Video, video, please. Oh, it's happening already. I'm recording. <laughs> oh my god, he's halfway through. <laughs> he's halfway through. Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> Dad! That is badass, man! <laughs> On our final day in the Amazon, we went fishing. We could see small fishes jumping out of the river, and the river was abundant with fish. It didn't take long before we started catching small fish with the simplest fishing poles made from a stick. I finally caught a tiny piranha, easily recognizable from its teeth. We decided to release it back into the water. Later, we cooked all the fishes we caught and had a delicious meal. There is something about being the Amazon that feels very easy and relaxing. The tour actually doesn't have any itinerary except to head to the jungle or float along the river and search for animals. It's a unique experience that's part patience and part luck. You may be lucky enough to spot an incredible array of wildlife, but even if you don't, simply being immersed in this vibrant ecosystem is an unforgettable experience. <laughs>